good you're here. Holly, I wanted to do that research now on that client of mine, Don Minyard. I'm so sorry about Blake. No, I mean, no, no, no. It's not Blake. Well, it's everything. It's my... It's my baby. You know, I used to always reach for the phone at this time. I would always, always call her to see how she was doing. I, I still do that. I go over the phone. I try. I forget that she's gone. And she's gone, been gone for months. How long has it been? Fletcher took her. Ah! What difference does it make? What difference does it make? You know, I keep telling myself that with time, the pain is going to go away, but it doesn't. It just gets, gets worse. My little girl. She's growing up without me. I know. I understand. My daughter is growing up without me, too. Is that the same? Is that the same? I wanted my baby, and you just gave yours away. How could you do that? How could you just give your child away? you ask me that after yesterday I gave my child away because I loved her and not a day goes by not a single day goes by that I don't think about her because she's my daughter she's a part of me and I don't even know what she looks like and I wonder I, I wonder who is she is she a good person is she happy what does her laugh sound like? Does she look like me? How do you cope with that pain? That she's somewhere else, that somebody else is raising her. I tell myself that she has a mother and a father who love her very much. I'm not as selfless as you are, you see, because I have this hole in my head. And I can't. There's nothing I can do to fill it. You'll fill it. You'll fill it with the love you feel for other people. And other children. Because you have to. But you will never forget. You will never forget. is finished. We can have breakfast out there. You gonna cook for me? I don't know how, Daddy. Well, you're gonna have a big fancy house. You're gonna have to learn to cook. That's cooking fun, Mommy. Uh, well, not as much fun as ordering out. And you don't even need a kitchen for that. All you need is Cold. a stack of menus, a <laughs> phone, and you're all set. You know what? I gotta get going here. Harley's moving into her new office, and I wanna get back and help her. So... Are you gonna be back for dinner? Oh, sweetheart, I can't. Not tonight. But you know what? I love you. Give me a kiss. Give me another one. <laughs> okay, you be a good girl. Beth, have a good day. Uh, oh, you know what? I almost forgot. Harley wants to know whether or not Lizzie can have lunch with her on Friday. Is that okay? On Friday? Yeah. Uh, two of them, I think. No, no. Uh, Lizzie and I already have plans on Friday. Mm -hmm. We do? What kind of plans, Mommy? Shopping. We're going shopping for school. Well, maybe I could have lunch with Harley and then go shopping. Um, you know what, sweetie? Daddy hasn't seen that new color picture of your playhouse. So why don't you go get it? Because I think he would really like to see it, wouldn't you, Philip? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Promise you'll stay here until I get back? I promise, honey. Go ahead. Okay. You, you have a problem with Harley and Lizzie having lunch together? On Friday? Yes. Philip, I have an enormous problem with it. I think Harley is trying to steal my daughter away. 